water flows through a horizontal tube as shown in figure if the difference of heights of water column in the two vertical tubes is 2 cm right this distance is given to me as 2 cm and the areas of cross section at A and B are 4 cm square and 2 cm square respectively find the rate of flow of water across any section ok now first of all I apply the Bernoulli at A and B I have pressure at A plus half of rho V A square is equal to pressure at B plus half of rho V B square please note we haven't took the potential head over here because both are at the same level it is given over here ok the difference in the height of water column the two vertical tube is given but it is a horizontal tube so potential head won't be there and secondly if let's say the pressure over here is P0 over here is also P0 so what I can write is let's say this height is H so I can write P0 plus 2 plus H rho W into G is equal to pressure at A and pressure at B will be written as P0 plus h rho g so pa minus pb will be simply 0 0.02 centimeter into rho of water into g fine so substitute this value over here i get 0 0.02 into rho of water into g is equal to half of rho of water into vb square minus va square rho of water get cancelled I get 0 0.04 into 10 is equal to VB square minus VA square. Okay, now using the continuity equation, I can write area of cross section at A into velocity at A is equal to area of cross section of B into velocity at B. Area of cross section at A is 4, velocity at A is equal to 2 times of velocity at B. So velocity at B comes out to be 2 times of velocity at A. Substituting this value over here, I have 4 times of VA square minus VA square is equal to 0 0.04 into 10 so it comes out to be 0 0.04 by 10 by 3 to the power 1 by 2 is the velocity at A and uh, we have to calculate the volume flow rate and volume flow rate is given by area of cross section into velocity right so just simply substitute it area of cross section at A will be given by 4 into 10 to the power minus 4 and the velocity at A is given as this that is 0 0.04 into 10 by 3 to the power 1 by 2 to solve this equation you get the volume flow rate as 146 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter cube per second that is the answer